What up, though? I'm Fat. I'm Trey. Welcome back to another edition of Fat City Tree. And today, what we're going to talk about is cruise port scams you must avoid on your next cruise. So today, we're going to talk about the, pro the cruise port scams and what you look out for and what you can avoid on your next cruise. First thing we're going to talk about is when you're on the port and you're shopping, make sure that the items have price tags on them. Mm -hmm. If they don't, they can tell you any price, any price and they can overcharge you because you want to know a price to compare with the next store, next door. If this one is $10, they got $15. You're going to go back to the $10 one. But if there's no price there, how can you compare the prices? That happened to us. We was in Jamaica, um, Ocho Rios. Oh, yeah. And we were shopping on the port and we found the um, store. We was going from store to store um, comparing prices. We got to one store and the lady never had prices on her items. So I kept asking her like, okay, ma'am, what's the price on that? She was throwing prices out, but I asked her, I said, why you don't have prices on it? She said, they change. She said, don't worry about the price. Pick out what you want. I'll make a deal for you. Mm -hmm. And when it came down, we up here just grabbing all kinds of stuff. Coffee, um, T-shirts, all types of souvenirs. Uh, 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 we even got a, a license, plate. license plate. So we was say two hundred dollars. And she, when we got to the counter, and we had coffee, they she said two hundred dollars. Coffee I was, was like, forty five dollars. I was like, coffee is forty five dollars. Twelve K cups. I was like, oh no, put that back. So again, we just want you to be aware. If there's no price tag, I say run fast because they getting ready to overcharge you. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're gonna talk about is when you get to the port, you know there's always some type of going on. People trying to put bracelets on you, mm -hmm. uh, some type of mocking on you. Don't let them put them things on you because they're expecting to get paid because once they put it on you, it's a tight. And they say it's yours now. It's yours because now if I have to cut it, then I'm losing. So we that happened to us before. We've had a lot happen to us in this cruising industry. And we want to make you aware so you don't get scammed. We was on the port and we were walking back to the ship not paying attention. You know, we was in like, it was four of us. And um, we walked down one of the side streets thinking we can cut over and get to the ship faster. This lady comes up to us with some uh, Bahamas bracelet. Here, here, did you want a bracelet? We was like, no ma'am, no ma'am. We, we getting ready to go to the ship. We no ma'am, we finished for the day. No, no, come here, come here. So one of our friends stopped. I was so mad he stopped mm -hmm. to see what she was saying. And I kept saying, no, 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 because I already knew and I'm telling him to come on, come on. So he ended up allowing her to put the bracelet on him. She didn't want it. I said, ma'am, take that off of him. He don't want it. Well, I, this his now, y'all have to pay me. So everybody's searching to try to give her. I said, how much is it? She said, a dollar. So we were searching. I found the dollar, I gave it to her and we left. So again, you don't want them to put items on you. Even taking pictures with all kinds of birds, all that. Don't allow them to put that on you because guess what? They're gonna make they're gonna try to make a scene and make you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Any type of scam is possible. Next, you gotta know the conversion money. Uh rates. I'm gonna tell you, that is so important. Please study that. If you're going into an area with pesos, you got to know the conversion from pesos to American dollar. They will scam you totally with that. I have been scammed with that. Mm -hmm. I took money. I usually take cash. Um, at this particular time, I think I left my most of my cash in the safe on the ship. So I had to pull out my credit card. So with that being said, they had the conversion of pesos versus the, and I'm asking them like, what, what is the difference? How much is this in US? 
They said, oh, that's $55, your total. It got back to my bank. They tried to charge me $155. Mm -hmm. My bank had me to verify. I said, oh no. So I never again will I do that. And because of the area where you at, they don't sometimes have the, don't have the American conversion. So, and they'll tell you anything. So the best thing to do if you're having a dispute about the US currency and the pesos or whatever the a currency is, then pull out your phone and try to calculate that and let them know and y'all go from there. Don't pay them if you don't think it's worth to pay. Next up we're gonna talk about is transportation. Have your transportation up front. Even if you prepay before you go, all that. Have it where they can, because most of the time, if you pay up front, when, once you get off the ship, outside the gate, they'll have a board with your name on it. That way you are known for this um, transportation and we're here. They'll have your name on the board telling you, come with me, you know, they. I've been waiting on you. If you wait till you get there, it, you're gonna have a lot of problems sometimes. Mm -hmm. So have your transportation early. Yeah, because normally they will try. They will try anything. Yes. They will take you to the wrong location, mm -hmm. and then tell you, you got to pay again because this is where you asked to go, and knowing that's not where you wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna talk about is have your app ready for the language. Yes. They'll have you in the cars talking Spanish, Japanese, Chinese. You don't know what they saying. I happened to us and I had some friends that it happened to them. They were in Cabo, Mexico and they it was four girls and they were talking about I got them in the car where you want me to take them. They immediately put their uh, language app on and told them what? We just know that you just said this. Dro drop us off at the, you know, drop us off over here. And he did. He didn't have to. He could have deducted them and took them somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So I've learned. I have my language app on point and ready to go when we're traveling because I don't want no problems. A lot of languages I don't know about. Guess what? I'm not dealing with it. So again, have the language app ready if you know you're going to um china you know they they talk chinese get the chinese app so you'll know mm -hmm. next up we're going to talk about it's called the taxi scam oh we had that done i'm telling y'all we had so much done what we are now mm -hmm. and that happened in america it didn't even happen in a foreign country that we, happened we was in california california it been so long ago. We was on our way on the cruise yes. in California. We got from LAX. We were trying to get to the cruise ship. I gave the guy the address. I told him, he said, well, there's two ports here. I said, no, we're going to this port. Mm -hmm. So he drives around, drives around, acting like he don't know where it is. I have my GPS on from the airport today. And I'm telling him, sir, you're making a wrong mm -hmm. turn. It's a back around here. I thought, then he goes to the other cruise ship and nobody, I said, sir, nobody is here. What are you doing? I told you, you made your wrong turn back there. Go back there. Child, by the time we got to where we supposed to be at the crew, the right, the right cruise ship, he talking about $110. Mm. I said, what? If you would have listened to me, sir, back then, I wouldn't have to. So he said, well, I told you this. And he got getting loud at the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at him. I'm like, I gave him the hundred dollars. I said, I'm, I only have a hundred. So I gave him that. And he, he, he left, was mad, but he should have listened. So again, even if you take a taxi, put your GPS on. So if they mm -hmm. take a wrong turn, you let them know up at the front that you made a wrong turn. That way, you know, your bill won't be so high. 
So at this point, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, what you waiting on? Share us out. Yes. Let others know where they can find good information. Because these cruise port scams, you need to know you about to that. Know. And they are ready. Yes. Next, we're going to talk about people spilling stuff on your clothes. Oh, my God. That is one of the poor scams that if they spill something on me, that's okay. I got it. Because once you know that they got your attention, then they'll try to, you know, pickpocket pick you. Pick you, all that. All Trying to help you wipe the spill off. Don't let them touch you. Tell them you got it. You'll get the spill off. And you and your guests or whoever will get the spill off. No, that is, that's one of the, that is um, a no -no. yes, yes. Next, the children scam, because they put the children up to sell items to you. Once they like, oh, especially on the beaches, then once they um, come up to you, ma'am, ma'am, I have a bracelet, I have a necklace, $5, $10. They digging in your purse, your bag. Then you dig in your pocketbook and <laughs> stuff and get your, your wallet. Who comes up, the mother or the father? Mm -hmm. They don't put the kids up to beg or sell items, and then they come flying out of nowhere when you pull the money out. You don't know if they're going to snatch your wallet and go or whatever. Don't pull your money out, the wallet, nothing. Mm -hmm. Especially for the kids. If you feel sorry for the kids, oh, let me get a, the little boy a dollar, five dollars. Don't do it. If you have your money separated and you want to do it, it's fine. But pulling out your wallet, trying to help someone, you'll be in trouble. The next is the camera scam. You want to take a picture outside of the pyramid or somewhere or outside of the, stand, uh, the sign of the port. And you say, hey, sir, you don't know I'm a stranger walking past. Can you take our picture? He taking the pictures, guess what? He you can run off with, with your, your phone. phone. Don't do it. These are things to look out for. Now, if you and your significant other friends, girlfriends, and whatever want a picture, try to find another tour that's with you on the ship. That way, you can tell them, can you take this? Because normally they have a ship card. They ain't going nowhere. They getting back on that same ship with you. And you eventually see them if they try to run off. But you, you know, just ask them. Don't ask the people outside of the ship because you might run into them running off with your stuff. Next we're gonna talk about is the damage scam. Oh. You know, sometimes when you decide you wanna rent a, a ATV or some type of, something that they give you, we can, like a scooter. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check it for damages before getting on to the scooter. Because when you come back, the damage that was already on it, that you didn't say anything about to them about, they're gonna say you did it. Yep. So make sure you you see it before you leave, take a and picture. And point it out to them. I do, what I do is a, uh, walk around the vehicle, the ATV mm -hmm. or whatever I'm renting, the rental vehicle, and do a, a video. Yeah. Walk and, around And even it. if he says, oh, it's okay, we know about it, mm -hmm. you make sure once you take the video, mm -hmm. it has the time yep. and the date that you did the video before you left, and they'll know that you didn't do it. Yeah, because they'll try to put, push damages on you for you to pay for. Mm -hmm. And all you're doing is on vacation having a good time. Yeah. So you don't want to be a part of that. Next up is called the bump and grind scam. And what that is, the bump and grind scam, is called the pickpock move. I don't care if the pick person is 100 years old, 50 years old, or 5 years old. If they bump and grind or... Bump, bump and grab. You. Make sure you check grab your the wallet. <laughs> because they just pickpocked you and you just got scammed. Yes. So don't let nobody, if they bump into you, if you know your wallet in your pocket, you start grabbing like, oh, where my dad going wallet? They taking off running because they already know what they done done. Mm -hmm. So be careful with this bump and grab situation because they will do it on the port. I've seen it done. It didn't happen to me, thank God. But it's happened to others, and I've seen it. And I mm -hmm. just look like, God darn. So be careful with that. Next, you're going to do fake viable scams. There are a lot of people who 
sell fake items, fake mm -hmm. jewelry, fake pocketbooks. Be aware of that. Mm -hmm. I don't personally buy too much when I'm on vacation because of that. You don't have time to examine it. You don't know if it's fake or real. So leave it alone. If you want to buy valuables that's real, go into the actual store. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, um, Gucci, Louis, if, if, you, if you desire for all that stuff, go into their store and buy. Don't buy off the street because people will sell you anything just to get money. That happened to us. We were buying a um, little bracelet and they were saying that when you wear the bracelet, it's a magnetic and you can wear it as a bracelet or necklace or whatever. And it stops pain. Yeah, it stops <laughs> the pain. Y'all, it ain't stop no pain. It gave you more headache. It gave you more headache. It probably changed colors mm. of anything. So again, be aware of your surroundings when you're on these ports. The bonus tip of today is download, download the, the Carnival, Carnival Hub, Hub app. app. Download the Carnival Hub app today because you will enjoy the Carnival Hub app. I'm telling you, they got so much information. You can buy so much from it. You can, you know, know what's going on. Again, check it out after this video. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Subscribe. Share us out. Subscribe. Let a friend know because we have that information that's good. Yes. For you. So peace, love, love and, and cruising. cruising.